what is up you guys today is the start of my prep and pack with me for the cruise today is november 2nd i believe and we go on our cruise november 7th um right now i'm on my way to my wax appointment since we're going to the bahamas you know i'm going to be wearing all kinds of swimwear things like that so i need to be all nice and clean so i'm on my way to my wax appointment and then later today i do have a nail appointment so we'll see how that goes Alrighty guys, so I just finished with my wax appointment. I love my girl that does my wax. We just talk, gossip, do everything throughout the appointment. It makes it a whole lot easier. So right now, I'm actually going to go get some food at McDonald's because I'm starving and I need to eat something. It's 3.11 right now. It's 3 11 right now and my nail appointment is at 5 o'clock so I'll get back to you guys that hello but yeah my nail appointment is at 5 o'clock I'll talk to you guys then got the goods y'all these are my my current nails Halloweeny and then this one my pinky broke and it pulled off some of my skin which sucks but yeah, those are my before. <laughs> is it already recording? Yeah, it's recording already. <laughs> Alrighty, so this jelly here is just gonna tone my hair and get rid of all this orange right here. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Feels so good to get it washed. Alrighty guys, so this is Miss Jilly here, my coworker blow drying my hair just to make sure the tone was right, but we actually had to retone it because it was a little bit too light. And then here I am with my hair all poofed out. She actually had to leave, so I had to finish the blow dry and I ended up flat ironing my own hair because I wasn't going to walk around with the lion's mane. Um, and then here is the following day real quick just so I can show you guys I was getting a little pedicure a beautiful beautiful spa in the area and now let's get to the next day hey guys so I'm trying to get a good leg today is um, a few days later from the last time I talked to you guys so today is Sunday November 6th um, it is the day before we go on our cruise tomorrow to the Bahamas So I kind of just wanted to update you guys on a few things because I did not show you um, My nails or my hair or anything but this I don't know if you guys can tell This is my hair I went a lot darker But it's still pretty you can still kind of see the the highlights or the balayage in there um, I just made it a shade lighter than my actual base color just so it'll blend and I just didn't I just don't like the blonde blonde pieces I just really love the dark hair on me so that's my hair and then I also did get a pedicure done I'll show you guys those are my little toesies I just got white done on my toes and then these I should probably show you guys these are my nails they're just french tips which at first I didn't know how I felt about them but now I got used to them and I just haven't had french tips done in like I don't even know like 10 plus years so it took me a little bit to get used to it but so I since it is the day before the cruise we have not packed a single bit but I have been slowly accumulating things um to pack and like essentials and things like that for the cruise i have never been on a cruise so i did a lot of research and just watch other people's videos on what to pack and what we need and what we don't need and things like that so i'm going to show you guys real quick where i'm at right now which is nowhere near done um so over here we have the swimmer that i'm gonna be bringing i think this is all i'm gonna bring I really don't think I'm gonna I mean I could, I could always reuse one of them 
but we're only there for four nights so i have three right here um i have a white one a neon green one and then a nice white and sage green one right here and these are all from shein and then over here i have a little bucket hat that's white and black they're reversible and a little cute little bandana if i wanted to put it around my hair then over here is a little pile of my um night outfits this is a little two-piece set a little crop top and long pants a little dress right here and then this is another dress which i don't know how i feel about yet but these are three i have right now we're there for four nights one of the nights is a formal night so i might wear this one i don't know yet i really have to like figure out what i'm gonna wear but i need a outfit or a dress for one of the nights which is actually gonna be my birthday night and i just found out it's an all white dress code so now i have to go to the mall and get that all situated and then over here i just have a pair of shorts which i'll probably wear with my swimsuit whenever i want to go out or in the mornings and then over here i have a casual like two-piece little set so this is just all brand new items i just did a whole bunch of laundry so i just have a pile right over there right now um which i have to go through and then i have my little camera bag here i have my little camera bag here and then my polaroid which i definitely want to bring just to take some cute photos and things like that i am praying to the lord that we have like great weather the majority of the trip because we looked it up a few days ago and there's supposed to be a storm like monday through friday thunder and lightning the, throughout the whole time we're going to be on the cruise and i was so upset i literally wanted to cry because this is my first cruise ever i've been looking forward to this trip for a while and i just wanted it to go smoothly and just have fun and don't have anything to worry about but we found that out and i got so upset but right now it looks like the weather's changing a little bit but i'm just not going to look at it until tomorrow and then just hope for the best and if it rains it rains you know i'm going to be on the cruise ship anyways but i would like to step foot on the bahamas and actually say i enjoy the bahamas but anyways so over here I have a bag full of stuff that I bought um, at Target and then Shein. I just stuck a few items here so I just wouldn't lose them. I'm going to show that to you guys. Alright, so I have the bag full of items that I got. Um, I'll let you guys know what I got from Shein and what I got from Target or whatever the case might be. Um, I do have to go to Target, Mall, um, I have to go to TJ Maxx to return a bunch of shirts for Hunter. And then I'll take a look around and see if I need anything else from there. And then I think that's all I need. I have a, like a packing list that I'll go over with you guys just to make sure I get everything. But so I have this little fanny pack, which I'll wear like this. Like that. I've never had one of these, but I've always wanted one of these. Um, this is from Shein. I just wanted a white one just so it'll go with everything and then I'll just wear this throughout um, my whole trip on the ship um, and then I got a little white wallet too just so I can put it in here just so I don't have to have to just, don't have to, just so I don't have to carry my big bulky wallet so I'll just put like the necessities in here and then my C pass and things like that I also bought a little travel bag for like electronics and chargers and things like that which i thought was cute even though i usually just stick it on the same thing but just in case i needed it i'll probably just use this just everything's a little bit more organized for me and hunter's electronics so on amazon i bought these little pool clips because when i did my research people were saying the deck can be very windy on the cruise ship and like the towels will be flailing everywhere or even on the beach wherever you go so i just thought i can buy some pool clips comes in a pack of eight right yeah eight so it'll be four for each of us just in case we need it but it might be raining i hope to god it's not but it might be and then i bought these um i bought these magnetic hooks that a lot of people swore by on the ship since the cabins are like magnetic they're just to hang either towels or shirts hats whatever the case may be i also bought from amazon um 
downy wrinkle releaser. So we got these um, cruise luggage tags. I've seen a lot of people talk about these as well, just so it'll be easier um, when we drop off her luggage at the port. Um, they can just send it off to her room without losing it and things like that. So I have to figure out or see where I can print the actual tags or if they give it to us. I'm not sure. I think I have to print it off. So I'll look into that, but we'll have them just so we can have it and then hopefully our luggage won't get lost. And then I also bought this um, toiletry bag, which actually closes up and then when you get to the cruise, it can open up and hang on the hook or the door and things like that. Um, everything that I bought on Amazon, I'll link below just so you guys can have a little reference. But it just looks like this and it has a hook right here. And then you can just open it up and then just pack your things in here. I saw someone order this one and they said full size items like shampoos or whatever the case might be fits in here. This will be perfect for both Hunter and I's items. Some things that I bought at Target were a little tied to go just in case we stain our clothes. Um, a mini lint roller, some Advil because I always get headaches have a little shave cream just so we don't bring our big bottle versions that we have here at home I bought a little mini Listerine bottle and then I bought this cute little cute little jewelry bag from Target for like $15 and it's just a little soft velvety one and then when I open it it kind of has like little um, earring holes just to hang them little ring holder and then in here it's just a little space that's pretty deep that you can put like necklaces or not even necklaces like big bracelets or bulky necklaces and then it comes with this cute little pouch as well that you can put some necklaces around it just hook it around this so it doesn't get all tangled and it has a little pouch here as well and we got some dream i mean so we got the motion sickness the less drowsy ones the chewable versions which you only take once a day so that's everything that we got i really have to go through my um, packing list to really see what else we need so I have to see if we have sunscreen because I think the last sunscreen I had I gave to my mom on the last trip so I just have to double check if we have that and if not I'm gonna have to buy some at Target or Ulta wherever I decide to go um, and some aloe as well just in case Hunter or I get burnt I'm gonna see if I can find some little mini shampoos and conditioners just so I don't bring my big like jugs that I have and if not I'll just buy the little travel size bottles at Target and see if I can just fill those guys up but the thing is I have a lot of hair and curly hair so I'm gonna need quite a bit and then let's see I need to get a first aid kit yeah that's pretty much it I don't need it we don't need to buy anything else we bought some snacks i don't know if we can take some but we just bought some snacks to put in the luggage or in our carry-on and take that with us just in case we get the munchies and then um i'm just gonna get ready and go ahead to tj maxx return the few items that i need to return um and then i'll probably stop by the mall yeah, I'll probably stop by the mall to see if I can find a birthday dress for Thursday when we're on the cruise. And then I have to stop by Target just to get a few little things. But that's about it. And then after that, I'll just come home and just start packing and organizing and figure out, figuring out what clothes I should bring. So that's all. So let's go shopping. Hey guys, it is many hours later. I did quite a bit of shopping and I wanted to show you guys what I got really quick. So I went to several places and that's why it took me so long. I went to the mall really quick first just to find an outfit for my birthday night and formal night. But I didn't really find much unfortunately. But I will show you what I got. So the first place I got something at was this store named Zagda. It's like this newer store in our mall. Nothing really popped out at me except like for two things and one of them didn't really fit me right. And the other one was this guy. It's a white bodysuit and then it has this cute little tool that goes around your um, shoulders. 
um, and so I thought I could wear this maybe the night that it's my birthday because that night is um, we have to wear all white I have no idea what I'm gonna pair it with because I looked all day everywhere for a like skirt or pants or even a different um, dress and I couldn't find anything. So I have to look in my closet and see what I have. And if I can't find anything, I'm just going to have to wear a pair of jeans. Which kind of sucks. Because I wanted to be a little bit extra for my birthday. But um, the next store I went to was Sephora. Um, it is my birthday week. So I went to claim my little birthday gift. The AC is turning on. So I'm sorry if you'll hear noise. The little gift that I chose to get at Sephora. Uh, was a little travel version of the Laura Mercier. Um translucent powder and their caviar stick which is like an eye color which I've never used before but I do have um, their translucent powder so I guess I'll just take this to me to me I'll take this with me to on um, the cruise just so it's a little bit easier so I don't take my huge one with me a few other things that I decided to get I needed to replenish my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz I ran out of that I've been using the benefit brow pencil and I don't really like it <laughs> to be honest so I went to get another one of these and I used the shade ebony and then another thing I got was the Fenty beauty glass gloss bomb I have one shade I think it's in my purse let me go get it okay so the shade that I have in this one is uh, Fenty glow is that what it is I don't know, but it's this like darker brown shade so that's the one I have and I wanted to get one that wasn't as dark I got the shade fussy it's a little bit more pinky um, than the other one and more like glitter tones in it I'll show you guys the comparison so this is the one I had before and then I decided to get this one just so it's a nice like um, a little natural more natural than this guy right here so i got that the two more things that i got from sephora are from charlotte tilbury um i've heard a lot about their like lip liners and lipsticks so i just decided to try out i swatched a few shades at sephora that i think would go with me best i don't like anything too dark or too nude um so a lip liner that i got that i think a lot of people get is the pillow talk and then i got a lipstick in supermodel so yeah i got those from sephora so i went to target next and i got a few things from there so i got a little travel first aid kit just in case i got just a styling brush because if i do end up wetting my hair and going to the pool i'll most likely be doing a slick back bun so i just needed a new boy bristle brush just to really slick back my curly hair um i also got a miniature version which is not that many but a miniature version of um the eco styling gel just because i have like a huge tub and there's no way i can really scoop it out and take it with me um on the cruise so i got this little version so i got the garnier uh, micellar cleansing water a little miniature version just so i can use to um take off my makeup and then i got the shea moisture coconut and hibiscus curl and shine shampoo and conditioner i went to the outlets and i went to nordstrom rack hopefully like hoping to find some like a dress or a skirt and that didn't happen but i did find shoes and um the clearance was a additional 25% off so I took advantage of that um, I got these cute Sam Edelman little heels they look like that I really like how it looks on my feet these guys were I guess originally 140 and then on clearance they were 63 and then I got an additional 23% off 23 25% off of them which I thought was nice so I treated myself for my birthday I went to Best Buy, that was my last spot, and I got a little GoPro set, um, GoPro essentials or accessory set, um, just for me to use like when I'm on the cruise or in the Bahamas, just in case it's not raining and we actually do end up going in the ocean. That is everything I got from the stores today. 
I really hope I got everything. I'm pretty sure I did. We're probably gonna be overpacking because that's just what I do. Um, but I'm just gonna organize everything, just put out all the clothes that I think and want to take on the ship. Let's get to packing. So There's a lot later in the night. This is the current situation. That's Hunter's bag. I'm filming a TikTok right now, right here. I'm gonna show you where I'm at with packing. I did my little TikTok and then I just rearranged my luggage. Um, right here we have the side with all the clothes. It's pretty packed in there. Um, I put my little bucket hats here. It's my little jewelry bag from Target that I showed you guys earlier. Um, underwear bras, sports bras, socks, all in there. Um, and then that's all my clothes. Then over here, I have my little um, head scarves and then all my swimwear. Um, and then this is my big old makeup bag. Um, I'm debating on switching it out so um, it's not so hard because it takes up like more than half of my suitcase on the side because I still have to fit in all my shoes and things like that. So. I want to make sure I can fit everything. I'm going to show you guys this little toiletry bag that I was talking about earlier. Um, it just folds in just like this. And then you can just hang it. Here's the little hook. Hang it in the cabin. Um, down here I just have... Um, oh, my battery's dying. Hold on. Okay, I put in a new battery. <laughs> um, as I was saying. So down here I have my little tied to go stick, a razor, Listerine, the wrinkle releaser, shave cream. I have my two little shampoos and conditioner. This is a little um, like stick for chafing whenever I wear shorts because of my thighs. Q-tips. I have sunscreen here and then aloe right in there. Um, right over here I have the many patches, lint roller, Advil, Excedrin, and then. Um, the Dramamine I'm probably going to put in my um, handbag. And then this area is for Hunter in the morning for him to just stick his stuff in there. And then we'll close it up and then put it in the luggage. I don't even know what bag I'm going to use to carry on. Um, and I need a pretty big one because I'm taking my laptop and all the electronics and things like that. So I need to figure that out as well. Um, but let me try and fit all this stuff in and then I'll get back to you guys. Alrighty guys, it is pretty late in the night and I got mostly everything packed and ready to go. Um, there's a few things that will fit in the luggage, but I'll try and stick it into Hannah's luggage or even his, um, backpack that he's gonna carry. Um, I have this backpack here that I'm just putting all of my technology in. So I have my GoPro, my Polaroid, my vlog camera is going to go in there, chargers, things like that. So it's going to get pretty packed in here, including my laptop too. So that is all for tonight. That is all for today's video. Be on the lookout for a cruise vlog that'll go up um, a week or two after this video. Um, if you want to see a day to day basis, little updates, just follow me on Instagram and tiktok don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and if you want to be on the lookout for more bye